Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription. I am from the Open Blessing Church, Nairobi headquarters, and I want to welcome you to this program this amazing morning. And I believe that the Lord is going to speak to us and be a blessing mm -hmm. to us in a special way. So you're welcome. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I want to thank you, our King. I want to exalt you and to bless you, Father. It is yet another morning that you've given to us to hear your voice. I pray, Jehovah God, that you're going to minister to us greatly through your Spirit, O oh God. I pray for anointing and I pray for revelation in the name of Jesus. I give you glory and I honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning. I want to speak about a subject I have titled, Come and See. Come and See. Over the past week, we have been talking about very deep issues about the grace of God that sits upon the lives of men. The people that God has used in the past. We have been talking about when they sleep in the Lord, where does the mantle which is on them lie? We are spoken about another subject, where is the anointing? Where is the anointing? We have also talked about that anointing, praise God. So this morning, I'd like to speak about a subject which I've titled, Come and See. There's a story in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter number four, talking about the Samaritan woman who came to meet Jesus at the well. And Jesus began to have a conversation with her and it, what amazes this woman is that Jesus knew her. Jesus knew her. You know, as a prophet, he was able to internalize the things that, who actually this woman was. And after this experience, of course, the woman is aware about the Messiah who would come. That means she had a form of godliness, but probably this, uh, you know, disregarded the power thereof, as the Bible tells us, because this woman knew about Jesus, about the Messiah. But he didn't know at the point of the well that the person he was indeed talking to was indeed the Messiah. Now, after all these issues, after all this discussion, Jesus telling her about the thirsting no more after taking the water from him. And then in verse number 28, in fact, this woman had come at the well at very odd times because she feared the shame or the kind of name that she had over the society. And so she didn't go there when everybody was there. But this time around, Jesus was there. That means in every situation, every encounter we find ourselves in, even in the most odd times, the Lord will be there for us. Now, the woman uh, looks at uh, in verse, chapter number four and verse number 27, 28, and 29. This is what it says. And at this point, his disciples came and they were marveled that he talked with a woman, yet no one said, what do you seek or why are you talking with her? Verse number 28, the woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, <clears throat> excuse me, and say to them, say to the men, very interesting, the woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and say to the men, oh, hallelujah, the interpretation of men here, you know, you can understand the conversation about the woman and the men she had relationships with. But Jesus said, I mean, the Bible tells us that she went, left her port there, left her port at the well, and she went uh, into the city and said to them, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. Hallelujah. Now, very, very, very interesting scriptures this morning. The woman who had a history, in fact, a bad history, has just had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ at the well. Oh, hallelujah. And the Messiah is able to inter intersect her life, you know, bring to her knowledge 
without her being able to be the one who brings the exposition, Jesus tells her, for you have had five husbands, and the one whom you have now is not your husband. And that the woman said, yes, I perceive you are a prophet. Let me tell you, even the people that we disregard in society may just have an encounter with God and their lives will change and they'll never ever be the same again. And God can use them to bring change in society. Praise the Lord. And so Jesus impacts on this lady that she goes out and tells the men when this lady has had five husbands in her life, when we talk about her going back to the men, it is clear, he did not, Bible tells not us, she went to some men. No. Bible tells us, and she went, and the Bible tells us, and, and, and uh, in verse number 28, the woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, the article there denotes particularity. The man, hallelujah, come and see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? The Bible tells us, and then they went out of the city and came to see him. Now, my encouragement this morning is that we need to point people to Jesus. We need to come and tell them, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see the man who told me all my life. Who told me all things I ever did. Come and see the man. Could he be the Christ? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my prayer, it's my desire that we will point people to Christ. We will tell people, come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see the capacity of the God I believe in. Come and see the God who changes our lives. Come and see. Oh, hallelujah. Come and see. So this morning, I appear to you in the name of Jesus, and I believe this one thing, that this God who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. Come and see. In other words, we must present the picture of a God who changes, a God who transforms, a God who is full of capacity and power, a God who is able to bring remarkable change in our lives. Come and see. Praise the name of the Lord. So, is the Lord still working in our days? The answer is yes. Is the Lord still bringing conviction upon the lives of people? Yes. Is this Lord believable and trustworthy? Yes. Come and see his power and capacity to transform our lives. May the good Lord therefore bless you and lift you in everything that you do for the glory and honor of his name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you exaltation because who can be like our God? We bow before you, Lord, this morning and we ask that our Father, you establish your grace and your capacity through us by the grace of God. I thank you, Father, that we'll be able to have the resolve to witness and ask people to come and see that which you're able to do. This is our prayer this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host and your servant, Reverend Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the scripture prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come and see a man who told me everything I've ever done. The good Lord be with you. Amen and amen.